So, fellas. Yeah, fellas. Yeah, does your girlfriend have the butt? Hell yeah! Tell her to shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake that healthy. I, I'm, I'm sorry about that. So, fellas and lady fellas, today we're going to talk about a horrible thing. A place, to be exact. An absolutely horrible, terrifying, damning place. A place you don't even want your worst enemy to go to. That's right, the friend zone. We've all been there. We've all been made to suffer in there. Many of us don't come out at all. Some of us burn in its eternal fire for all of eternity. Okay, so that might be extreme, but it's true that nobody wants to go to the friend zone. It almost feels like a huge failure and a major letdown and it's almost impossible to get out of. But that is why I'm here today, folks. I'm one of the few people to go into the friend zone and come out victorious. Trust me, it took a long time. The friend zone sucks, yeah, but it's not that bad of a place. Think of all your friends right now, guys and girls. All of them are friend zoned by you. You don't even notice when you're friend zoning someone most of the time. It's kind of this weird place that only exists when you don't want it to. Here's my advice though for getting out of it. One, you gotta be patient. I liked my girlfriend for like 10 months before we started dating. We'd known each other for a while before I started liking her though, so it was a really long time. If you wait it out, then sure enough, they'll come to realize that you could be date-worthy material. Two, it's important to be their friend more than anything. You can't like someone, never talk to them, and then complain about being friend-zoned. That's not the friend zone. That's just the zone. Not the good zone either. That's like just the zone zone. Friend is the key word. You care about this person, so it's important that you're there for them and that you're not selfish. Nothing is less attractive than selfishness. You have to be supportive and helpful and just be a friend to them. Eventually, they'll realize you're always there and they will either get a restraining order or they'll like you back. Hopefully the latter. Three, don't act desperate. Whatever you do, do not act desperate. I can't stress this enough. That is incredibly unattractive. Don't give her flowers or buy her little gifts for no reasons, which I guess is flowers, or constantly compliment her. That's weird, bro. You're her friend. Do what friends do and just hang out. Oh, and, and don't cry about nice guys finishing last either, because chances are you're not a nice guy if you're saying that. Chances are you're some desperate, creepy jerk who might stab someone if they reject them. Guess what? In this case, nice guys don't finish last. There's a difference between nice and obsessive. Nice is being her friend. Obsessive is the aforementioned actions of buying her things and complimenting her. Anyways, that's basically all there is. It's a test of patience and endurance, and if you come out on top, then you're more successful than 98% of the population. Congratulations! Just remember to be their friend, and everything should work itself out.